Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a little more. Okay. Last category. We probably already covered it. Who stands to make more interceptions based on quarterback to secondary uh, staffing? In other words, who's a better secondary, Green Bay or Pittsburgh? Well, you have to, and, and it might be who, and who's the better secondary and who's more likely to throw something that's going to be picked off. Yes. <laughs> See, I know it's That's a watch. <laughs> you watch it. You know what? The thing is, Aaron <laughs> Rodgers forces balls too. He's just that he's very good at when he forces them in there. Right. Uh, uh, and and Ben forced throw some stuff sometime that's a little questionable too. That's true. But so did Aaron had a couple too where he forced it in there too. Yeah. So, no, it's a wash to me because all these that's why I think that they're so well matched because I don't think you you don't so far it's just a slight edge in defense to me. Right. To Pittsburgh and the rest is a matter of who can bring it that day. Well, the odds in Vegas right now are two to three point favorite for uh, Green Bay. In the Super so Bowl. that's that's a, that's narrow. I know. So it's you not even a feel, so uh, uh, up at maximum a field goal favorite. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. That's almost even. You're right. You did. That's why I said you, you handicap pretty good. You can't have it even because you got to make a bet. Right. And I think the difference between <laughs> the two, like you said, is who's going to make the least amount of turnovers. So we now know that they're right now because every they said the two or three point favorites because everybody's saying Green Bay is in this stride so a lot of people are betting on them but I think it's going to change in a stride too. I mean they both stride I mean I look at Pittsburgh and you, and you know what I go back to Vic what is that? which is one of the things that really got me you go back to the beginning of the year that they started without their quarterback right it went 4-0 right. Oh. right that's true what a year. Right. It's, still, hey. it's still a wonderful storybook year for them, too. Well, And it's such a great story on both ends of the quarterback. One, you had Ben Roethlisberger come from controversy, missing games, and now he's in the Super Bowl. Yeah. And, they, and you have Aaron Rodgers, who makes, the, who makes the coach at Green Bay look like this. I did do the right thing when I said, let Brett Favre go. He got close to the Super Bowl. We're in the Super Bowl with Aaron Rodgers. And everybody's seeing Aaron Rodgers and going, oh, my God, this is what they were watching a couple of years ago, this potential. So you have to look at it. He knew what he was doing with that decision. All right, it's time to go over to the sport that doesn't have a lot of hot news. And so we're going to just create this one question in the NBA. It's regular season time. There's no real team dominating except the San Antonio Spurs. And because they're in San Antonio, it doesn't give you a lot of media hype because they are the journeyman players who, unfortunately, you just don't hone in on the key player on their team. They all equally contribute to winning games with the best record in the NBA. So it came down to this question I had. Before we get into the playoffs, I want to know, who will be the most popular player at the end of the regular season? We know that when the playoffs start, everybody's going to have their adjustments about which team is best. So Mario, the question I have right now is, you know, we have choices here between LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Dwayne Wade, Kevin Durant, Derrick Rose, Blake Griffin, et cetera, et cetera, what have you. And I'm just trying to find out who do you think, based on what I call the most popular considerations, scoring, rebounds, assists, MVP standing, all-star participation, and the big one, media hype. And then we include Amari Stoudemire as well. Who do you think will be the most popular player come the end of the regular season? Boy, at the end of the regular season, so not influenced by the playoffs. That's correct. And we're going to judge it by jersey sold. <laughs> Everything. Every consideration that goes into you know what? getting behind the you players. You know what? You know what? Mm-hmm. It's going to be some shakeups. Okay. Okay. Well, no. I think Kobe stays the most popular. You player. do? I think the two of these, actually, because they are so overwhelmingly popular, Vic. Right. Like Kobe and LeBron, okay. In terms of sales, okay. Okay, I'm not saying send them. You say, okay, I say something we could document. Yeah, Dwayne Wade. You know, you first of all, your top three or two of the top three. I know. I just feel that that you have some really, really exciting folks. <laughs> that Stoudemire comeback has gathered him a whole fan base. Unlike he's ever had in his career, correct. And in, and in New York, yes. So where it fits, so. That's going to boost him up, way right. up, because, you know, really, there's, there's supposed to be a dividing line right around here. So. Right. <laughs> right. Because Kevin Durant is one thing, and then I think you start to, But Blake Griffin. Right. It's amazing. Does anybody else on the Clippers sell a jersey? Uh, hey. Does anybody? Hey. He's become a symbol. Yep. So I think the point being, you will certainly see some rises. I still think that you're... Regular guys, these three guys still end up shuffling among the top three. Right. But, boy, I think, I think the point is what you've shown here. 
Derek is consistent. Kevin is consistent. But man, these two are the ones that everybody's looking at. Well, it's very good too, Mark, because Derek Rose is basically up there, uh, almost leading the NBA in scoring. So here's this guard that's carrying Chicago, who's now even a healthier team, and they're wreaking a little havoc to me they're the team in the east that they say look we know celtics and heat will be favored but don't look past chicago but you know what's amazing I, right and everybody's saying even though you know what chicago still has yet to regain right any of the mystique right. that they even had when they had uh, uh my big ben big ben nappy head <laughs> <laughs> in other words <laughs> In other words, Chicago's been kind of out of it as true contender as a series. You know, even when they were in the playoffs a little bit, they good. They, they, no one, they're not taken seriously. True, and they still aren't to me totally. Right. Uh, but you know, it, maybe it'll happen. Yeah, yeah. And and I'm going. I would say the most exciting player is going to be Blake Griffin, hands down. That doesn't mean he's going to be the most yeah. popular. I do think. Unfortunately, cream rises to the top, and when you get to the end, towards the end of the season, you'll see your better players step up. But when I said most popular, when the Clippers are now getting games aired as part of the well, rotation, he is the one who affected one. it, right? But yes. he's still, and I still go. That's the good thing. Right. The bad thing is still that he's on the Clippers. <laughs> right, right. And everybody's not looking for them to win as much right. as they're looking for him Place to play. Place show. Yes. Well, that's what I'm saying. And that's why it goes, too bad he's on the Clippers. There you go. Please get him off the Clippers. <laughs> wait a minute. Please. He's, wait a minute. He's Can in the L.A. the Lakers get him? Why can't the Lakers get him? Oh, man. Oh, that's a good one, man. Then send Lamar back. <laughs> No, man, that's a Cardassian man. I like Lamar. Yeah, I know. I do, but he can still go back to the Clippers. Okay, all right. I tell you what, if they, if somebody I do said, like Lamar, I like Lamar. If, I'm just saying, I'm, if, I'm, I'm trying yeah. to help y'all win. Though. I'm telling you, it'll be if if some if if somebody called from the Clippers and say we like to give you Blake for Lamar, how long do you think they would think about it? Oh, they would do it right away. There you go, and it's well, not going to happen. How about they give you Blake for Lamar and uh, my big boy, uh, uh, Bynum? Bynum? Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. two for two one. Others. You get two play, and I'm one. Is- who else are they gonna throw in? But they can throw in. They can throw in a uh, homeboy with the uh, the other clipper, the one oh. that enforcer, the guy who likes to block. Oh yeah, I know what you said. What's um, his name? The white guy. Uh, I like him a lot. He's I forgot, block on his name. He got all the tattoos. Uh, I, you got me. Whatever. Tattoo me. man. Tattoo man. Yes, I got you. Tattoo. Very, very good. Very good. Okay. Well, now we're going to get out of this. I want to shake up the Lakers. <laughs> well, I don't Trey want. Trey Kobe. No, 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 no. Hey, for you guys who are into sports, the Australian Open, I just want to let you know this. a lot of people are playing in it, and you guys are suffering in tennis right now because you really don't have a story. Venus Williams is out. Serena, of course, is injured. Who's the story for the U.S. as it relates to the Australian Open? The reason why I didn't bring in any stats. Yes, it's a global game. There's some players out there. But everybody needs somebody to get behind to draw the other fan base in. It is a weak time for the American players, unfortunately. Wish to see you guys come back stronger later. In the meantime, we're going to go over to this uh, section we call Shock, Stunned, or Expected. And uh, it's no surprises here. Keep your colors flamboyant. So, with shock, stunned, or expected, we kind of covered a lot of stuff already. This should be easy, Mario. Shock, stunned, or expected, the Green ah. Bay Packer, Packers. Green Packer, Bay Packers. Packers. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> and if not true, Brett Favre did not send those pictures. Wait a minute. Yes, he did. And if and if he did, it should have been a Minnesota Packer. Ah, you know what? Not a Green Bay Packer. See, this is what happens when we get on the show and I start laughing. Like a Packer head. He shows his face before I finish the question, so I'm you already said looking the Green over Green Bay Packers. I said it. I did say it. Okay. Shock, stunned, or expected. The Green Bay Packers are early favorites to win the Super Bowl. Which one, Mars? Shock, stunned, or expected? Oh, expected. Only two point favorites. <laughs> That's barely a favorite. The range of error is two points. <laughs> That's not even a barely favorite. Oh, okay. That's yeah. saying I love you more than I love myself, I think. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. That was an easy one. That was an easy one. I still think this one's interesting. Mm-hmm. Shock, stunned, or expected. Both winning quarterbacks, Roethlisberger of the Steelers and Rodgers of the Packers, had zero TD passes. Would you ever have guessed no. zero? No. Okay. Shocked or stunned? 